life has really key blasted me in the face this year. Let's talk about it. You know, YouTube just ain't the same. I mean, I wouldn't be a YouTuber if I didn't complain about it, right? They changed the system so much, and I understand it's a business. So they gotta do what they gotta do. But the creators take the hit. I get bust in the face. Bust in the face. <laughs> I get bust in the face, baby girl. And you know what makes it even worse is that I get so much love on other platforms. But on YouTube, it's a slow grind. And I know the reason. The reason? I know the reason. And I'm not gonna bore y'all with all, all the details, the, the details? intricacies. Yeah, what? I can't bore them with the details. Just know that YouTube's not as good as it could be. And it's just been an annoyance behind the scenes with everything else that's happened this year. But my passion for Dragon Ball, creating, and just making y'all laugh has never really been about views or money. R.I.P. to Akira Toriyama. You know, that was a key blast we all took, for real. And you know what I think made it hit even harder, though? The fact that we knew he was working in the franchise still. He still was giving us ideas. He still had stuff to contribute to Dragon Ball. And, you know, I usually don't feel too much when it comes to celebrities passing away and stuff like that. Because, you know, we don't know him like that on a personal level. But Akira just has such an influence on me. Like, it's literally crazy. Like, what would my channel name be? What characters would I parody if it wasn't for him? I'd be doing something else in some alternate timeline. I'd be making other things with a different channel name, and it's just crazy to think about. To have the opportunity to leave your mark like he did, it's just legendary, bro. I remember being five years old and my brother watching Dragon Ball Z in the living room, right? I walked in and I seen Goku and Yamcha. This is back when they wore them orange jumpsuits. You know, they, they had like a similar outfit. But tell me why I thought they was brothers. My brother clowned my ass, as he should, and I've been a fan ever since. And who would have thought that I'd grow up and make a career doing parodies around the franchise? And bro, Akira himself started his career with a parody as well. And we have the same birthday. The Matrix is real, bro. All right. So. Now I feel like we get to the main reason why I even made a video like this in the first place. The main reason why I went 99 days without uploading, and it's because of my mom's health. So about two months ago, my mom came down with pneumonia. And you know, pneumonia is dangerous in itself, but unfortunately the infection didn't stop at her lungs. It actually went into her bloodstream and turned into sepsis. And sepsis makes your body not fight infections correctly. And it really can damage your organs and it's life threatening. And it's crazy because I had just spoke to her that morning and she seemed fine. And then a few hours later, I get a call from the hospital saying we need to come in. She needs to be put on a ventilator. So we get there and the doctor explains the severity of the situation and that we basically need to prepare just in case she doesn't pull through. So she was put under on a ventilator. And around that time, I made a post on the community tab, you know, informing you guys what's going on. And I got to say, Thank you for the love and support and the well wishes that you guys gave, man. I really appreciate that. So I went to sit with her every day and I just watched her, and, you know, prayed, held her hand and I spoke to her because the doctor said that she may be able to hear us talking. So that's basically what I did for about eight days. But on the ninth day, I come in and she's awake. You know, words can't even describe how I felt, so I'm not even gonna try. But she recovered and uh, she was discharged to a nursing home and things really looked like they was on the up and up. And I made another post, you know, saying, thank you guys, you know, and uh, my mom's doing better now. So me and my family, you know, we thought everything was good, but then we get a call saying that we need to come to the hospital. She has pneumonia again. And the best way I can describe that feeling is, you remember when Android 18 and Piccolo were fighting and they was punching each other? so hard in the stomach that it was like indenting out they back. That's the sensation. There we were yet again. But fortunately, this time, the doctor didn't seem as worried. It didn't turn into sepsis this time. No infection in the bloodstream. So he was confident that she wouldn't need to be put on the ventilator as long this time. But she'd need a trach, which is a hole in the throat to help her breathe. And that way she'd be able to heal more while being conscious. So about five days go by and she wakes up again. She gets the trach. So she's not going to be able to talk for a while. But they finally stopped the pneumonia and she was discharged to a specialty hospital. So things have been getting better for her. You know, not great, but good. 
so she hadn't been able to talk for about two weeks. But the other day I went in and I walked in the room and she looked at me and said, hi, Luke. So that was a pleasant surprise, you know, to finally see her strong enough to talk. And the doctor's confident enough to say that she can be released in a few weeks. So my mom was fighting like she always does. And she got hands, too. I'm, I'm, bro, I'm serious. She got the fighting spirit of a thousand Gokus. Okay, that was... So 2024, key blasted your boy. And I got slid, too. Now it's time to get up. And with two months left in the year, I'm taking back my 2024, bruh. Starting with my mental health and physical health. You already saw me training like a saying, right? And I'm eating better too. And my six pack coming back. <laughs> Professionalism. Coming back. A more professional approach to content creating is what I want to go for from here on out, you know? You know, a real no-nonsense approach to creating the nonsense. Starting with more regular uploads, my goal would be two times a month, but once a month minimum. And better communication between me and you. Maybe do some polls to see what you guys want to see next. And me letting you guys know more what I'm working on and when it can be expected. And merch too. I got two designs ready and I'm working on a third. My goal is to have those released by Thanksgiving. And for the big one. It's time for me to bring back abridged parodies. But how about we make a deal this time? My straight men are off limits. What do you say? Nope. And that drops this Friday on Patreon. And I'm taking the Patreon to the next level by releasing videos one day early and uncensored. These changes and additions should increase the power level of me and the channel. And I just want to say thank y'all for listening to me. Thank y'all for all the love and support. And if life ever knocks y'all down, I hope that you too have the power to get up.